today is the day. Where is that crazy woman? <laughs> I did not expect you to look like that. Good morning, Mum. What do you mean you're hungover? I went out of style That makes two of us. And then there was two. Okay, maybe not. Where is he? Hello. Whoa, I could see the light. Whoa, whoa. If a, if a strong breeze comes, Mum, whoa, you're going to be seeing things you don't want to see. But look at this. Damn. I said, damn, boy. Damn, boy. Damn. Oh, you thick. Look at that. This is my mum boyfriend. My mum. <laughs> this is not my mum's boyfriend. This is my mum's boyfriend's Darren's bike. And that is a little bit of summit summit. God damn. Which begs the question, where is said boyfriend? <laughs> Wait a minute. I hear noises. I hear noises. Good morning, Steve. Yep, you've absolutely trashed the gaff again. Well done, mate. Darren? Yeah. Hello. Oh, right, thanks. One small <laughs> step for man. One giant leap for mankind. <laughs> mate, you look like you've been working out. No, it's because it's warm when you stop in it. You know, I've got plenty of gear on. You look fresh. Today's the day because I'm getting my car cleaned because as I was like, oh, does anyone know you can clean cars and all that sort of stuff? Well, this guy's, a prof you're a professional cleaner. Is that? Is that yeah, a valet? A, a, a professional like valet. So he's a professional valet and he's family. So These he's doing the car. Wanna... For the record now, when I came and showed you that car at your work, I didn't park up properly, did I? I just pulled backwards just to show you. The amount of shit I get of people for my parking in this car. They were like, how dare you park such a lovely, respectful car in such a bad manner. I was like, I reversed backwards for two seconds. I park it yeah, properly, you Okay, new viewers of the world, do not judge my absolutely clean garage, all right? I've had a lot of parties. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Don't film me. Whatever you <laughs> what do you mean, don't film you? <laughs> not a TV star. You don't need to. You, mate, the whole point of the vlog is just to catch people in their natural I know, habitat. I know, I know. <laughs> Why is there batteries in it? No idea. What? Know. That's well weird. I've isn't never it? noticed there was batteries in it before. No. My like a new man. My hangover's obviously not as bad as your dad's this morning. Dad's probably pretty hungover. Just as bad as each other, aren't you? No, I'm not that Just bad. as bad as each other, aren't you, you bunch of alcoholics? Get that tea down you. Why have you taken your clock down? I've taken the clock down because you don't walk into other people's house, take down their, their artwork and replace it with things you want to put up there. interior designs do it. That looks really tatty. It's, mum, it's the first paint I ever bought from Ikea. It cost me £10 and I'm proud of it. Hey, l listen, listen. I just want to say, I'm so proud of you. Do you know why? Because you've been ready for the coronavirus since day one. My mum's always yeah. had. Yeah. <laughs> always. <laughs> She's always had. What? Because I always had topping up to food. Hygiene certificate for being a child. Mother. <laughs> What's he saying? Always giving it a proper goal, proper goal. If I start getting comments of people being like, he's ruining the car. I'm a, I'm a kill you. I'm gonna kill you. He's done it professionally for a living for the longest time. Look at that, I'm such a man. Excellent. I've got every type of battery ready. Great. Ever ready? What? Not sponsored. What's ever ready? Battery. battery. Got every battery. You guys were way too, you guys were way too excited for that battery shout out. <laughs> oh, she's snowy. pH neutral. She's snowy. Again, all right, I know there's people out there who've got the perfect way of washing a car or taking care of a car, but I'm learning. I th I've not taken it to a can car wash. Everyone told me not to. I understand it. I respect it. This is attempt one, okay, of getting the bay clean. Ooh. All right, Sebastian needed a charger kit, which I could have done with last night because I had 1% battery. And look at that, my ring doorbell's charged. Yes, we'll set that up today. Sebastian, my friend. We're not going in the AMG, I'm sorry. The GTR is getting washed, but we have a selection of cars. We've either got Grandad's Whip. It's not taxed and MOT'd. Well, I think it's Son. We've got X1 TGC, the Audi. And we have Kegzilla. With no, pa with no, with no passenger seat. <laughs> Audi it is. <laughs> Kegzilla. Dun, 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 dun. I really need to get rid of these. This is my bad boy whip, Seb. Not to 60, about 15 seconds. But I want to get the back seats taken out. One sec, my phone might connect. What I'm going to do, take the back seats out. I'm going to get a body kit on it. Uh, the spoiler at the back, every time you have to get in it like a cockpit, you have to press that button. 
and it pops the spoiler up. So I'm gonna get a fixed carbon spoiler on the back. Mm. Then I'm gonna get it chipped. And I don't know what the glass panel it's gonna be. And it's my bad boy. And then when I, I finally force you to move to England to be my <laughs> carer. <laughs> I'm never gonna say personal assistant, just carer, because if it weren't for him yesterday, how unorganized would it have been? Extremely unorganized. It would have been mental, wouldn't yeah. it? So yeah, we're gonna move Sevy over and then this will be your whip. Oh, unless we do whatever in the vlog keeps saying. I get my granddad's car wrapped black, black wheels, red calipers, lower it. That could be your ghetto car. Yes. <laughs> right, let's go. Now, genuine true story, because of the coronavirus, there was a lot of panic um, in Manchester, in Chinatown specifically, like all the restaurants are really struggling because people aren't going down to it. But there's one place that everyone's still going to and it's glamorous. If you've never been to it in Manchester, for dim sum, it is absolutely amazing, but more importantly, you can get your keys cut whilst you wait. <laughs> yes, the place I've always been looking for. But, um, because Sebi leaves tomorrow? At seven in the morning. Is that when you go? Mm. Christ, I'm taking him to a pretty awesome place for food. Dim sum here is really, really good, so we're gonna go in there, we're gonna eat some food, and we're gonna start our day, because last night was a bit eventful, wasn't it? Good night. I'm all cut up and bruised, so that's all I'm going to say. Boom. What do you think of the TT? <gasps> Six out of ten. So, what? Days. What? What? <laughs> two days I've been... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, 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 very nice car. Yeah. Ooh, thank you. She's my baby. She's my baby. Ever since I started my job as a hairdresser, I just knew I was made for it. All right, let's hope. Oh, that oh we're supposed to go this way. I totally did not read the huge sign. But right, let's get some food. Live 17 floors up and when it rains I can feel those drops in my window pane Let's me know that I'm still here But when the sun comes out I will go outside When it breaks through clouds I will give a smile Let's me know that I'm still here Sometimes I want to run away, run away And that wraps up food, 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 food. What do you think of glamorous? Glamorous, I'd say for breakfast, eight out of ten. Yeah? Yeah, very nice. I'm liking, I'm liking these scores. I think I'm doing pretty good at feeding the boy. Now we need to go because... What did we completely forget the entire time we are in there? Sebi's day cut. We need to be back in G Cross, not Manchester, for three o'clock for him to get his air cut at Scott's. So, we need to go now. We've been following the suspect for a long time. He's been doing... 60 and a 70, we're pulling him over now. Excuse me, excuse me officer. I believe you were doing 60 and a 70. Do you have anything to say? Or if I actually went into the back of him now? <laughs> that, that would be just my look, wouldn't it? Like he slams on a summer, I go flying into the back of him, but all I can say is at least he was in the Audi. Apart from being behind the old Bilbo Baggins <laughs> on, the, on the way here, we're only five minutes late for his haircut. All right, listen, if you end up coming out of here with a potato haircut, right, it's not my fault. Scott, <laughs> Scott does a good job for me, so welcome to the big, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh he looks rough. Are you rough as houses? Am I rough? No, I'm not. You look, I was going to say you look like shit, but no offence. <laughs> Hello. I love that. 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 What would you say you want your hair done, like, in France? Say it in French to him now, like how you'd want it. Sweet. <laughs> Good luck. Hey, what are you going to do with these kegs, Sam? <laughs> <laughs> it's not happening. Oi, right, listen, if you're going to fight, I've at least got to get it on YouTube. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Sammy, let's see. You've done a fresh job there, mate. You've done a fresh job. Don't think very much. Well, just uh, making relations. Making relations. Damn it. No! He's already done that one about me. What is he shaving? Sha you shaved his leg off. Why? Not much. Come here. <laughs> Why are you doing this? He's already done it. He does it every time. I'm <laughs> Whilst the dog's trying to shag you. Yes. I'm not. No, right. Go away and come. Do? Right, just go up there. Yeah. Right, oh. that's it. That is so... <laughs> oh, my God. 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 Oh, my God.
<laughs> this is so. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> this is so satisfying. Wait, oh, are, you going... Are, you going to... are you going to that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mate. <laughs> why do I always shit? Why do you do this on your side of the chair? Stick to YouTube and Tom. Yes. You Come on, hundred quid. Hundred quid, let us give you just like, you know, like the, sh the size of a Jewish cap it's there. It's not happening, mate. How much for just a Jewish cap? And you've got to keep it like for a week. That's not really good, so at least two grand. At least two grand. That is a fair. How is that no, possibly like fair? That's absolutely <laughs> fine. I just want to say for the vlog, I like Jews. It's not No, I'm talking about it for the shape, the shape of size. I, I also like a, uh, the Jewish cap there, that My like that size. size. I love Jews. <laughs> what? You feel like a new man, dude. You do look fresh as chips. What is he doing? Wait, that is the first time ever in my life. I've seen a a parking attendant on a Saturday in my village, and I've lived here for 26 years. Don't he look like some sort of like military man? He looks, yeah. He looks like. Don't look like a parking attendant. Doesn't look like no. a parking attendant at all. Dun 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 dun. Darren has. Oh, excuse me. Darren has finished the job, and she already looks better. Oh, she's looking clean. Look at those wheels. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I am a fan. Usually I say, would you look at that view? But would you look at that view? Hopefully that was a pretty cool transition to this actual camera angle of footage, but I have now managed through piece to extension piece to extension piece, managed to get the GoPro right on the brim of my hat, which I'm hoping gives the perfect angle for whilst I'm out driving. Now I know um, I went and got that, you know, that like gorilla mount thing. Well, yeah, Houston, we have a problem. That's right, a problem, apart from the next strain I'm gonna get from wearing this. And yes, I probably just could put like a mount on, but like I said, what I wanna do is I don't wanna be fannying around with putting like a GoPro strap on my head, tighten it on, all that sort of stuff. All I wanna do is put the hat on, and off and it's ready to go for when I go driving. Bit of an inconvenience that the button is on the bottom there, but that's not the end of the world. But here is the problem. This is the jobby like gorilla pod mount thing that I bought. I was 100% expecting just to pull it out of the bag and be like, yeah, we're ready to go, put the GoPro on it and all that sort of stuff. But just like anything, you buy an iPhone, you want to connect it to this or that or an ox card or something, you need an attachment. That doesn't directly screw into a GoPro. So what I've had to do is order a GoPro tripod mount, which will allow me to twizzle it onto this, wrap this around the back of the carbon bar in the car. So when I'm inside the car, you guys will be mounted on the, oh, that attached to this. And the angle I'm hoping is pretty perfect for driving around and talking to you guys, because you'll be able to hear me, you'll be able to see me, and you get the perspective of the entire, like, inside of the vehicle, as well as the outside. So. When I get that mount, we'll be one step closer to hopefully driving perfection. Oh, ho, ho. we got the car, we got the coffee. Ladies and gentlemen, I have got the setup working. So, wait, can I put the window? Yeah, let's get the window down a little bit and let's get a grumble start going. We're going for a drive. Oh, that's just nasty. Why, why are you driving with your hazards on? What are you doing? What are you doing? Woman! I'm just out here cruising along, didn't even realise. Oh, mate, I'm nearly out of gas! So, in the uh, 538 miles that I've put on this car, so quite a few within the space of the amount of days. Thank you, good sir, for letting me go in. Uh, Alright, this guy is doing this guy's doing 20 miles per hour on the inside lane. Not too sure why, good sir, but each to their own. <coughs> Alright. So in 538 miles, I will have spent, I think, what was the first fill up? 70, the next one was 70 again. And if I'm filling it up again, I'm assuming, shocker, it might be 70. 210 pounds to get 540 miles out of this car. Not too sure if that's, wait, I can see what my mouth of the gallon is. Wait, what is it? 12.9 miles to the gallon, oh yeah! <laughs> Yeah, that's probably not the most efficient driving, but uh, you know, it's been <laughs> worth it. I think I should get in touch with uh, Grant, who sold me the Mercedes, and be like, hey Grant, yeah, I'm going to have to bring the car back. Um, didn't realise it costs so much to run. It's not really a fuel efficient car, is it, you know? <laughs> i tell you something though, man, I absolutely love this. 
like you go to Disneyland for a day in California, right? And you spend all day in queues and shit like that. And you wanna you wanna you wanna go on those rides, that'll cost you like $180 for a ticket for the day or something like that. Something crazy, alright? 180 quid in fuel for this for the day. Oh my god! Absolutely worth it. Worth every penny. It truly is. But let's not mention the cost of the tires that I'm completely destroying. Uh with my having fun of learning to spin the back end out every five seconds, so yeah. I, like I said, I do want to do a full cost analysis of like how much it costs me to run like the car after a week, after a month, that sort of thing. So we'll see. But 12.9, oh my god, 12.9 miles to the gallon. Average speed, 23 miles per hour. Eh? How does that? How does that work out? Now I'm very aware I am just sat behind another car right now in not exactly an, an area of beautiful driving scenic views but this is truly my favorite weather to be driving in and oh my god that car looks like it's on fire is it on fire the amount of smoke coming out of that guy's engine is unreal my friend oh no his exhaust sorry i think you can <laughs> let's let's do a public service my friend your car it's on fire wait what on earth is going on with his, his exhaust there's so much smoke coming out the back of his car oh i could have completely smashed that woman I wouldn't have done that, that's a dickhead move, but I just saw a viral clip of someone splashing a police officer completely. That car, I think, is actually about to explode. My friend, are you good? That was like something out of a movie. It's like he pressed the smoke screen button in an attempt to lose me. Flipping it, that, uh, the amount of smoke, that, that person needs to get their, get their car checked. Damn, son. Look at, whoa, where is bloody going again? He's clicked smoke screen. Where is he going? Orion, cloud the screen. Where is he? <laughs> Mate, that, that seems like a bit of an unhealthy engine. Jesus. It's only a 55 plate as well. What the hell? Hey, up. Oh, there it is. Reserve fuel level. So we do indeed need to go and put some juice in her moose. Damn. 86 quid. <sighs> She's fueled. I'm fueled. And now... We can return home. Open wide so I can get on my drive. Now you might have noticed the engine just stopped and that's because, and you know what? This is actually one of my favorite things about this car. When I get in my Audi, um, every time I get in it, I have to turn off the oh, oh stop and start just because I don't like that feature. But when, you got, when you're in comfort, it has that on. But when you're in sport or sport plus, you can leave it on that and start the car on and off and it doesn't keep resetting it. So every time you get in, you don't have to press the like, auto stop and start button it's just always taken care of which i just love absolutely love that feature shocker steve's absolutely wrecked the gaff yet again and i've just received a video uh, from my brother of an airfield that he knows through like some more some more some more um that i may at the end of the month be able to go and just whip the merc around on so roll the video Look at all that space yeah. Down there. Bah, 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 bah. We have to do it. Best of three, one one. Best of three. I've won a game. You've won a game. Let's finish it with a final game of chess for your stay. I don't think so. <laughs> Come on now, don't be silly. Prepare the battle zone because we're doing this. I was being so confident because I just had my queen running round and I moved my queen over here to take his pawn to start messing up his inside area, and look what I've done. What an absolute idiot! Nah! <laughs> I'm taking you back, you little I will get you back! <laughs> ah! Current progress report. This is the situation if you play chess. Sebi's move. My king's pretty defenseless, not gonna lie. Yikes, dog. Ooh! The brutality continues. We are legit going from like check to check to check to check here, aren't we? We are continuing the plays as Sebi has just placed me in Tushek. Oh, it's getting to that point, man. It's getting to that point. We're gonna have to start counting. If no one takes a piece, I don't, I, this might be a real, but you can do like, if no one takes a piece, takes a pawn in 50 moves, it becomes a stalemate. 50 that, moves. 50 moves. Really yeah. Okay. This is where we're gonna have to start counting. Like, let's say it's four at the moment, so. Got a few more to go, but let's see how this goes. <laughs> One false move and either of us has f***ed it. We were at 18 moves into being stalemated, but I've now bullied your pawns free. And because I've bullied your pawns free, I can now either take this 
I'm going to take that because it's a higher fret. And now it resets the stalemate because I've taken a piece. So here we go. All right, it's now three pieces to two pieces. This has been an interesting game, to say the least. A very long game. A uh, long game, but like, honestly, look at it. We've, oh, yeah. we've absolutely smashed this as our third and final game. This is crazy. Check. I'm not sure if that's mate. Just can't go there, can't go there, can't go there, can't go there. Can't go there. GG. Good game. That was an insane game, right? That was, that was I, I was on the back foot for the longest time. And when you messed up with the pawns, I thought you were going to get like your pieces back. Yeah. And I was like, I've got to do something here. GG. GG, man. Two well, one. Yeah, yeah, 2 1. Well done, man. <laughs> Mad game. I'm just saying this right now. That game took an hour. <laughs> He's having to go outside for a cigarette because he was that stressful. <laughs> wow. Side note someone just messaged me on YouTube saying, Tom, just a random thing, but surely this isn't convenient. Now, you know my bedroom? I've got a plug in this wardrobe over here at the bottom. And something I didn't think of is as nice as this is, this little, like, thing they've built, how am I supposed to plug things into it if they've got, like, a, you know, like a long cable below it? Let me try and find an example. Actually fit the plug into the wall. Now, you could say, well, I don't really use this plug because it was always in the back of the actual cupboard, but... This might be a bit OTT because I can't actually use the plug. So in theory, it was a good idea hiding the cable, but now I've basically lost a plug socket. I never thought about this because I'm just so used to like seeing my own vlog sort of thing. But is this weird seeing yourself on camera? Extremely weird. Yeah. <laughs> Extremely weird. Oh, but we're just watching a vlog from yesterday. Sebi, I've really enjoyed you being here. And I've got you something as a present to remember me by. Okay. Close your eyes. It's the Eiffel Tower. What do you say? It's the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> something to remind you of your time in England. <laughs> predictable. Yeah, I am so predictable. I wish I would have filled my face when he said it. I was like, what the f Our time is here, man. Mm. I will, I will wake up and see you say goodbye in the morning. Mm. But come here, it's been real. Have you enjoyed your stay? Absolute pleasure. Yeah? Yeah, made me feel welcome. Pleasure. Mate, like I said, whilst you're in the UK for six weeks, if you need anything, let me know. What he needs is a setup because he needs to be streaming whilst he's in the UK for six more weeks because all his stuff's at home for stream. So I'm, I'm, I swear, I'm going to try and rack my brain to work out how we can get it going and how we can get it working. If I have to pull a favour with Razor, mm. I'll pull a favour out. We'll make that shit happen if I have to ask him for something or anything. But, dude, thank you for being not only a friend, but helping me keep my life on track. <laughs> my brain is a sieve, isn't it? Mm. Like, what, he tells me one thing and the next minute I forgot it. And if it weren't for him, I would not have been organised this week at all. So, an absolute champion. It's been a pleasure. And you shit at chess. <laughs> 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 And just like that, Sebi has gone off into the world. And I am going to be ending this vlog right now, because if you're watching this clip, it is currently nearly four o'clock on a Sunday. <sighs> my day of rest. Or oh, so I thought. I will indeed be not vlogging my Sunday, just so I can relax and chill out and all that sort of good stuff. But um, I'm having a bit of a Sunday club reunion. If you guys don't know what Sunday club is, where I basically decided I hate Sundays and want to start doing stuff like throwing parties and get togethers with my friends on Sundays. And it's amazing. It makes it the most boring day of the week, the funnest day of the week. It's great. But there's also the problem of waking up every Monday with a hangover. So we kind of put it on pause and made it only a summer activity Sunday club. So when people wonder, where's Sunday club? Will it return? The answer is yes. Now, when the Sunday shenanigans return, they will be coming back in full style. I've got some really cool plans and ideas of what I want to do for it. Like, really, like, planned events and everyone can't, like, chicken out of it last minute. Like, oh, I'm busy. It's like, no, you have to be available for this Sunday club. But that said, I am doing a bit of a get-together today. Uh, if I do decide to film anything, I may add it into the next vlog you see because there's not a vlog on a Monday because I just don't film my Sunday. So I might throw some bonus clips in on Tuesday. So if we do, you'll find out, which will probably consist of Drunk Tom, which I know isn't the greatest thing in the world. He, he's an idiot. He does stupid things. He hides things around my house. Like when I put my keys somewhere, next day I don't have a clue where they are and then I get drunk again and I completely remember. It's like, it's like, like Mr. Jekyll and Dr. Hyde. 
But is it Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? I, th I, think that, I think I did that wrong. But either way, I am going, guys. Thank you so much for all the support on the videos. If you are one of the new people around here, which there seems to be an absolute bunch of you, thanks for uh, taking your time to watch my time, and I'll see you guys on Tuesday for my next daily vlog at 7 p.m. So until then, make sure you leave a like button, click the subscribe button, ding dong that notification bell, and I will see you guys then for the next adventure in my life. <laughs>